here I am, finally. It took me 40 years to get here. This is the desert, their Zor, in present-day Syria. The killing fields. Here, hundreds of thousands of Armenians were slaughtered. The year was 1915, when my people were driven out from their homeland by the Ottoman Turks. Trapped in these sands is the story of my grandmother. I grew up in Beirut. We were a big family. In this tiny apartment, we were seven. There were children everywhere, inside the apartment, outside on the streets and on the stairs. Time seems to stand still in these streets. Grandma lived in the apartment just above us. Mom still lives in the apartment below. Even now, the sound of children playing fills the air with a feeling of community. I too lived my childhood on those stairs. It is here I learned to read, I played and sang. It's here that grandma promised that one day I would become a princess. I remember the summer day. I was playing outside her door when a red robin flickered above me and then perched on my head. I was frightened and screamed. Grandma opened the door, gave me a wry look, then said something that I would never forget. What a good omen. You'll be a princess when you grow up. Probably the only nice words she ever said to me. But I never liked Grandma. She never hugged me. She never kissed me. She never gave me a smile. And when she came down those 20 steps every morning, sat in a corner for long hours, we all felt ill with her suffocating presence. I was scared of grandma. She was weird. The blue tattoos on her hands and on her face disgusted me. Devilish signs that came from a dark world. As a child, I never dared to ask about her tattoos. Only now have I realized what these strange marks meant. Only now I know that they were the signs of violence and slavery. Grandma has long since passed away. For many years, I had carefully cut out Grandma from my world. I had meticulously wiped clean her tattooed hands. Although here in Sweden, I have been making films and writing about the Armenian genocide, the astonishing fact is that I never understood that my own grandma was one of the victims. It all started when I stumbled across some long-lost documents. 
the Near East Relief Foundation had prepared hundreds of case files about young Armenian girls and children who were rescued from the desert between the years 1919 and 1926. 963, name of Sana, was nine years old when she was separated from her parents. She ended up in Dar el Zor. She lived for 11 years with the man who abducted her. 197, named Melek, was deported with her family. On the road, she was dragged away by Arab. 1,012, named Zarif. does not remember anything. Name Astrig, age 16. There was something horrid about those photos, something evil. They reminded me of my grandma, her hands, her odd marks. I was filled with unease and dread. Weird questions tormented me. What had happened to grandma? Was she too abducted? Was she too a concubine? Was she raped? Does anyone know anything about this in my family? Who has the answers? I wonder if my mother or sisters know something that I have missed. It is a long time since we all met, all five sisters. Now we are all going to meet at my nephew's engagement party. Anjar is only an hour's drive from Beirut, and I'm happy that my daughter is with me. <laughs> I'm the eldest of the five sisters. I have been like a second mother to Hari, Zepur, Sorsi and Silva. I have taken care of them and their concerns since early on. Here is my brave sister, Harip. It's her son who's getting engaged. When we were kids, she would chase us with cockroaches and terrify us all. Zepur was the princess in our family. She didn't share her bed with any of us. Nobody could argue because she needed to spread her long blonde hair undisturbed on the bed. And here is my baby sister, Sosi. She's the sexy sister. She has lived in Boston for ages, and we all know that she doesn't talk much. Silva is my sensitive sister. She's happy and caring, full of emotions. She too has moved out and now lives in Armenia. And I, of course, married and moved to Sweden. But we try to meet whenever possible, which is not always easy. And now when I want to talk about grandma, we are all busy getting ready for the party. Being together with my sisters takes me back to my very first party. It too was an engagement party. We were all gathered on grandma's balcony. And I remember putting on my tiny dress, then running up the stairs to grandma. I was old enough to stay up and see the wonderful, forbidden grown-up things. Even now I can smell the tobacco and I feel the smoke in my face. I remember the women and their hairdos. And I remember my Aunt Marie and her manicured hands popping small cakes in her fiancé's mouth. But I do not remember Grandma. And yet here we are, standing side by side. These are the only photos I have where we are together. My mother was not with us at the party. She has been ill for a while. I'm worried about her, and I want to get her back on her feet. I must talk to her, ask her about grandma, before it is too late.
Panin, Nenein and Danica, Mogisha Smernen, Anor and Danica shot Nashana Hor and Danica Raze. Ima Vormen and Vor Amstatzerek, I think it's Kuma Pan. Hi, Araze, hi, but Sierra Chen Arazir. The radio, Grandma's radio. Grandma had her favorite artist, Farid Al Atrash. He infatuated her. She kept his photos, kissed the photos. I remember Grandpa getting angry with her while we giggled. We never understood that this was Grandma's way of looking for love and affection. I was 16 when I heard about the deportations for the first time in my life from my teacher. I was astonished. This was something we had never talked about at home. Neither dad nor mother wanted us to talk about it. We lived in a blessed ignorance. I still do not know whether my father knew about grandma's experience and chose not to tell. I guess he had one goal in life, to come out of the misery. Dad was busy with his Caltex, the jewel of our street. When my dad stood there beside his giant machine, I felt so proud. The only chance I have to learn more about Grandma is her sister Lucia. Lucia moved to Hollywood 40 years ago, and I have not seen her since then. But she's the only one left who can tell me more about my grandma. She too has those spooky tattoos. Yes, this is what I've been as mission and I got to neighbor in two terkirut for us. The red nation and terkirut for a chojner guy in board, Ganengor. Make a year go cool cutting a skill and mezia rekasank. If Hachka. Yeah, Stepan Ertre, model. I do not believe Lucia. What she is telling me doesn't make sense. An Armenian girl would never willingly tattoo her hands and face with Turkish signs. Yeah. <laughs> Pahere Babas, Mamas Quirigas, Tasir Gudaregan, Yeres in Chef Cassero, or Chidesman, Adi de Sayes, Bess Muradin, Minchev, Halep, Novovic, Hanovic, Bazdik Naverov, but Mamma is killed in the stereo. Chuchuhe, yes, some Sankirazi Bess Zenks of Metim were Pernen Navabeda at Jarbic charges of Azadet Mesi. A master meze as a des der diraganera, chene bit mortain, mama is at mezia. Quirigus tastier good aregani, so hink taregani. 
Sin I was frustrated. I went back the next day with the hope of getting something more. But I met a wall of silence. She would not talk to me. The Euphrates is the biblical river, one of the rivers of paradise. It means sweet water. It flows from a source in the Armenian mountains near Ararat. Somewhere around here, a young mother with her two young children tried to escape across the Euphrates to Aleppo to safety, but never got across. According to Lucia, a man saved their lives, then took them to an unknown place. There are no traces of grandma's life during those five years. Where did they go? How did they live? Were they guests or slaves? Grandma and her sister were fortunate. They survived. Many girls and children were not as fortunate. From this infamous bridge of Derzor, locals and survivors saw the women jump and dash their skulls on the rocks below. In desperation, the women chose death to rape and sexual slavery. The genocide memorial in Derzor was built on a piece of land which once had functioned as a concentration camp, killing site, a burial place during the genocide. In Derzor, bones are everywhere. My grandma was the daughter of a judge. Could this be hers? This delicate blouse, pink silk for pink dreams. In this tiny museum, one can see all that is left from the Armenian women. My family mementos are locked up in a catacomb in a foreign country. Somewhere around here, Grandma and her sister Lucia spent several obscure years in the company of total strangers. How did she feel, my grandma? Was she scared? Was she confused or just broken? It frightens me to think that Grandma could have ended up here forever, become someone else, with different children, a different life. I do not know the name of the person who abducted her. I do not know the name of the village. All I know is that there were chicks and lambs and tattooed women. بس بيعملوا هيك للصغار كمان؟ لا خلاص ما بيعملوا هلا؟ 
عندك على الايدين كمان لا لا بس لا بس المادة من وين بيجي؟ من الحريق اه بس بالحريق مم. مش غير شيء؟ لا بس بالحريق بيعملوه على الليزر زرع؟ على الليزر على الليزر لا مش ليزر بس يعني بيخلطوه مع شيء هيدا الحريق؟ لا ها؟ لا I'm obsessed with her tattoos. Even the men understand that. And I'm embarrassed. اوكي لا بس يعني شو سبلة يعني مثل السبلة سبلة شو سبلة تبع قمح اها هذا عادات العرب القديمة الجيل القديم يعني بس هي مش الجيل القديم بلا قديمة شوي شوفوا لا لا كنا كنا نتها جيل جديد ما عرفوا يعني بس 30 30 اوكي in all the faces I meet, all the people I talk to, I search for traces of my grandma's past. I wonder if she lived in a place like this. I even wonder if she left behind a baby. Many of these tattooed girls were rescued here in the desert of their Zor. The case files tell us about their sad lives in captivity or sexual slavery. They were concubines or at best servants. Like grandma, they were forced to convert to Islam. Like grandma, they were tattooed. Marked for the rest of their lives, many stayed behind forever, gave birth to children. I'm still unsure about grandma's fate. What exactly happened to her? Why was she tattooed? Was she a concubine? I want to talk to my mother again. I have a feeling that she knows much more. I desperately need to salvage the long forgotten details from oblivion. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> 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 All the whispers from my childhood come back to me in a rush. The boat, the girl, the rape. My grandmother was raped. I'm drowning in humiliation. I must talk to my sisters to share what I now know. Yes, 
Amin artık ne olur? Bir nayi sana ne kadar bitirsin? Sen ama kapanma, hani hiç biri verişe sen de anak padağı, canı yakadı. Zaman gelin kadar biri verişe. Hayır. Yusal işte, araçla kambur Süzan'ı sabin zibor Merkev Tastan'ın uğa gibi daha zıspana tepki bor neneyin uğa gibi perna para zin şat şat astıvetsa dişt aşinkan mişt kagarta inti aşpan ucan kirkerum meçe bor acharter bı daha zı yere kanera irade nas an an payz ammen inç mezi amar yere vagayaga ne gam inç kitnam Uriş desager, kirkeru meçer. Hayat aslında bu gazkaskor var uğağı ku harazadip bada ha zehe de nistadız. Kone gazkaskor at var yani ne de iren pamma seyir oknazella iri iren mahitare ira trobeyi. Nanor amar yesir di zav gazkamgor. Var demiş değişe bari de ne kadar stein kart Şat şat da kurdiyan kabrata yer çengkar We will never know what really happened to grandma after she was raped. I will never know about those five obscure years. I have reached the end of the road. I'm going nowhere. The only place left is the sands of the desert. I'm back in Syria, in Markada, a place with no memory, a place that consumes all memory. None of my sisters wanted to come with me. They had neither the time nor the interest, and I'm all alone. This is our Auschwitz. But I have a feeling that the whole world wants to forget about this place and the people lying under the sand. ليش مرقدة يعني رقدة على الشعب العالم اللي ماتت فيه هون بيه هاي المذبح هاي مرقد يعني مرقد مرق. يعني مركز دبحة الأرمن هوني دبحوا هون وحطوه فوق بعض هلا في محطة المياه هون حفروها في قبور طلعوا منها بعض حدا فينا نشوف على بيع لامين بيع شوف شيء وين موجود جيب في مقابر هنا وين نشوفهم نشوفهم Oh, how did you get it? Yes, it was a mistake. 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 How many people are here? This is a mistake. This is a mistake. This is a mistake. Yes, it is. Arab people were here and they went to the Arab people. They were killed. They were killed. Sen 
en stor gravplats. Alltså det är ju hela den här högen. Hela högen här. Det är de lokala människorna samlade och bara täckte dem med jord. Någon sa idag att jag ska gå försiktigt på det här. Ligger ibland skräp på allting. هذا مغبر هذا هذا جماعي هذا جو يعني جوا 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 لا حاجة الله مم. الله هذا 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 أنت يعني أهلك كان موجود هون قديم إيه قديم إيه قديم إيه حبوبتي أني أرمنية مين أرمنية؟ حبوبتي أني أرمنية آه من ماردين آه أوكي يعني إذا مثلا كيف كنتوا تحكوا بالعائلة عن هيدا يعني؟ إيه إيه أرمنية من المجازر إيه من, من ماردين نعم من ماردين اللي عايشين هون بيعرفوا عن هيدا القصة؟ كلهم اللي شلون؟ كلهم يعني الشباب كمان يعلموا مثلا انا ابويا مثلا انا يعلمني يقول صار كذا وكذا هيك وهيك هذا ما عاد فينا مثلا اتراك ذا محمد علي هاي كلها مغامر هاي هي الجبل كلها مغامر هاي الى الاخر هي الغار ما غادي ما غريتها بالارمني The story of those who didn't die, the story of the young women who survived and stayed behind, has never been told. Men write down history. So it is with genocide. There is no room for the women. They were impure, tainted, and despised. Yet they were the ones who suffered most. They were the ones who paid a terrible price. They had to carry the heaviest burden of all. They had to regenerate life. There are very few of these young girls who are still alive. In Yerevan, Armenia, I found Maria, 104 years old. She could have been my grandma, my sweet grandma. Mama, how are you? How are you? How are you? I don't know how long I've been doing this. I don't know how long I've been doing this. Այս իրանք կպատմ էին անդրանիգի մասին, նրդերի մասին, եվ այլ հերոսուների մասին, երկերը գիերքեին, բայց այս մասին, որ ազգին ինչպես են ստորացրել բաներ, այդ պատմությունները չէ են պատմում։ Այդ մասը չէ։ کیش رو میگوار گلاسه چهار 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 راه تانر زن، این دیگر پوگس نر باق نر نن، سولی چه بیاره که قسم، 
Sulit ne zayin ne kışadana, gelen kama ne için için tun ne, kizen borde kavrus ne kan. Kazma gel var mı avaza kahumpa, atas yıldırım. O var kavrus da poxat mı kam kıyacı kahçı günü, aşçı kam bittanın kavrusu ne irene kam sağ toğun karabarcan işki bet kaçı. Mama işte dem bardı. Ama deste mama sözsüz çi. Vahen mevc. Gür 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 her açan içine. Kulus verari bulursam distüsneyim. Yerek çorsa da uriş kılık bir kan. Mama sen. Angoğun neseler bazı lob gün açacağım duras karnelem şu meçerin karnelem. Tuğun çeğar buras ne kana. Kana sat ki bardı. E vahen men vas ki istan sat ki bardı. Nince durup en kanga vah 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 sam güzelim sam tuhtin daram vah 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 kınık nere. Poğnar günar sam tuhtnar günar. Sam tuhtu şat ki geçi ki eve. Ağçık nere ne indanum? Ağçık nere ne indanum? Ha ağçık nere ne indanum? Var bizi pırna parın, gamış kanın kanın. Mel tağa polor kerhana aretin. Tağa. Poloni dünü kerhanaya. Et merdun abrak borni ki mi at şunu ne dile? Ay eser bani besler şunu turu gidiler poğutu. Min şey yes yeres mi yotti vega? Ampa Türker likunen garavanı meçevo kereçika danmen. Amus nanumen. Kişere konuş çidanım mek mek. Lari mangotinos hişim hem kişere konuş çidanım. Çem uzun hişim başta, hınar avuçya çem karım buranı. Hınar avuçya çem karım buranı. Madi çakının horuslarının kınat, indar avur kınat çitke çaktı, latır, selay. Horuslarını bana kaplar, Rıspan'ın için. Mağutun ısmar fenli çatır. Bilme ayaktan ödüne kasma denirmiş ben. Da, hangi stasi? Eva. Eva, Eva. Pançka, 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 pançka. The First World War ended, and several thousand Armenian children and women who were held captive in Turkish households were sent away. But the agony for these women continued. Suddenly, my grandma found herself in the desert again, like many other tattooed girls. How did she earn a living? Where did she stay? I do not know. Nobody knows. I assume that like the rest of the survivors, she had to live on prostitution. Nor do I know how grandma ended up in Lebanon in Beirut in a refugee camp around 1922 after several years of captivity. Grandma had just turned 19 when she was set free. In new geographies, she tried, like the rest of the survivors, to build a new life, to reroute herself. The shanty town where my grandmother started a new life later became the Armenian quarter where I too grew up.
grandma worked hard. Like the others, she put the planks together to build a home. Like the rest of the women, she made carpets, marinated olives. She loved as much as she was capable of. She married. She got children and grandchildren to hug, but she never hugged. There was something terribly missing. There was something unfinished. Her soul was stolen. She was alive, but she was a walking corpse. Six of grandma's seven children passed away before she did. Grandma's last remaining child is Aunt Marie. She was my favorite aunt. Aunt Marie taught me all about perfumes and hairsprays, perfume and colors, fashion and prettiness. That's as far as our relationship went. We have never really talked since. Not about fashion, certainly not about the tattooed hands, the shame and the guilt. I haven't seen her for a while. She must have known how grandma felt. Grandma did everything in order not to pass on the shame to us. But I know it will never go away. For a long time, I have been looking for a refuge, a safe haven. This is my paradise, a little village just outside Yerevan in Armenia. Maybe this place can repair what was broken in my family all those years ago. Maybe this place can erase the feeling of insecurity I have walked through life with.
Det känns trygg, det känns, det känns att det här är ju min liksom, ingen kan kasta ut mig. Och det, jag får aldrig den där känslan någon annanstans. Skål! Skål, skål, skål! Cheers! Skål! 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 All of us, Sweden nation, what they are today? What is summer. Midsommar! Midsommar! Glad midsommar! Glad midsommar! Hahaha! <laughs> 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 <laughs>